Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akosia Benhini. If you have seen me for the very first time, if you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, and what it do? All right, what it do? <laughs> now, in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out and reviewing the new Juvia's Place foundation. I probably am late to the game, but that's okay. I'm gonna be reviewing my shade today, telling you guys how I feel, the whatnots and whatnot. So I don't want to talk too much, but if you're interested, please keep on watching. Watching the video so that you hear what my thoughts are and without further ado, right to my last let's get right into the video all right trying out the new Juvia's Place foundation so I went ahead and picked up my shade I went onto Juvia's website so this is the I am magic natural radiance foundation it's apparently a buildable medium to full coverage foundation it's available in 33 shades Juvia has always been known to cover like a wide shade range so that is nice and then it has a natural radiant finish is weightless again it's breathable buildable all of the good stuff so today we're gonna see what the hype is about so what I did is I went ahead to pick out my foundation shade um, what I think is my shade and then I also picked up their powder and then I also picked up a brush I know you're expecting me to pick the um, powder puff or like what is it called the beauty blender but no I didn't do that so I picked up foundation brush because they have this foundation brush on the website and I'm a foundation brush kind of girl so I'm like let me pick this up so today we have these things so we're gonna try them out see what it's giving all right so let's get right into it let's see what the foundation is about I picked the shade Mali 130 Mali so that we'll see what she looks like but i'm gonna start off with my primer i've also never used this so we'll see we'll see so this is what she looks like if you're wondering or if you haven't seen it in person before um but it's very pretty so i'm gonna do two pumps at the back of my hand like so because i don't have them in different shades there's no point swatching this for you because you guys are going to see what it looks like on my face anyway and then i'm going to go in with the brush and just go ahead and blend that out oh it has such a beautiful smell i usually don't like like my makeup product or skincare product to have any you know smell to it but I'm not mad at this scent that it has. It definitely has um, some sort of like nice smell. It's not overpowering. And it's definitely not from the brush. But this is what it looks like on one side of my face. I mean, actually blend this down well. But so far, I'm not mad. Obviously, so far, I'm not mad. And I think I've mentioned this a few times. If you've watched my... Um, base video or foundation routine video you will know that I don't have a problem um, I actually like my foundation a lot more darker so that I can build my under eye concealer because I love for my under eye to look nice and bright but so far she's not giving bad like so this is what it looks like on one side of my face and coverage you know, I, I like it. I mean, it, it definitely is dark as compared to my actual face. But when I put in my concealer, build up on everything, she's going to look cute. And I'm happy that it's definitely radiant because I'm not like the matte foundation kind of girl. I like for my foundation to be nice and radiant. So I like it and I love the brush. This brush is perfect. It's like literally perfect for applying your foundation it gets the job done so this is what it looks like on one side of my face and this is my best skin in terms of like glow radiance um true to skin if i had one that was like exactly my skin shade 
this would literally look like skin right because look at the glow that i have in my natural skin and look at the beautiful glow that this one gives you as well so it doesn't exactly take away the glow that you have and because it's definitely a tad darker than my actual face i'm going over my eyelids and every area of my face so that i can have um, an even base because again it's not exactly my skin shade but totally oh this is what it looks like by itself and again it is definitely a tad darker than me but if I put on my concealer you know build up everything sculpt my face this will look amazing like I love the coverage it definitely is you know buildable because you see that you can add more and more and it doesn't make me feel dry i honestly don't feel like i have foundation on except like when i look at my face i obviously see that i have foundation on so let's go ahead and do the rest of the face i'm just gonna rush through that and then at the end we'll use the powder and then i'll tell you guys what i think okay guys so i know i kind of look crazy because i'm baking my under eye um but this step we're going into the powder the sound that you guys hear in the background is the deck stop. It is so loud, okay? That is just the fan in the deck stop. So if you hear that, then that's why. I have the shade Zambia. This is the shade right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use that. And this is a powder foundation. So it helps to build coverage. And I think I sort of like it already. It definitely is a different shade from the foundation that I just used. What do we think? Um, but basically the face is done. Let me do some lip, set my face, you know, figure out my earrings. I just look cute. And then we'll see what my, I mean, I'll tell you guys what my final thoughts are, okay? okay guys so this is what we look like all right i'm loving the vibes okay plus my earrings what my final thought the foundation is definitely darker i feel like this will work a lot better in summer i'm not even joking in summer this will look oh my goodness you can see that like the glow that it has to it it's just so beautiful like i'm I've been feeling myself the whole time all right I'm low-key heads that is not my actual shade for winter or for colder days um, but in summer or oh, I'm hoping that in spring maybe I might have turned a little but in summer for sure this will work perfectly fine but overall I love the coverage I love the way it makes my skin look my natural glow is definitely still shining through you guys see that like it's so cute i'll rate this i'll see a 10 over 10 in all honesty i i'll maybe hold an extra two so maybe eight or ten till i do a full wear test to see um if this is able to hold generally i love it it's so cute comment below let me know what you think um what are your thoughts is this something that you're gonna try i would absolutely recommend that you do okay because what and the powder definitely you know sort of makes it you know much more true to skin or much more true to tone um the foundation for me was just a tad darker but in terms of properties in terms of wear in terms of coverage you can see for yourself and you can see that i'm excited i love how it looks like i love how it feels like it doesn't feel heavy like i literally don't feel like i have a lot of products on i'm excited i love it comment below let me know what you think give the video a huge thumbs up um, i will list all the other products that i used in the description for you guys if you care to know because i definitely used a lot of new products in this video so i will list them for you guys and they all look amazing um but i'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much for watching
all right <laughs> thank you so much for watching comment below let me know what you think give the video a huge thumbs up follow me on instagram if you don't already do that um also comment below let me know what products you'd like for me to review next uh, but i love you guys thank you so much for watching see you in my next one bye <laughs>